relationship between the 9 and 10 is crucial to any team's success. And there are few men better placed to analyse the making of a successful number 9 than a World Cup winning scrum half. The two main attributes for me were always having great game management under pressure and then having that ability to be a threat and not necessarily just you know a running threat but just doing things that the opposition have to keep an eye on if they show you a gap you go for it if you look like you're going for a gap and they come in and close it you're zipping it to your fly half and creating half a yard for your back line it's you know I, I like watching the scrum halves who have a sort of a bit of both of those attributes. In his prime, Dawson was picking his wits against some of the very best to have played the game. I was either lucky or unlucky to be playing in, a, in a, an era where there were some wow scrum halves. Justin Marshall, New Zealand, US van Westhausen down in South Africa, Georgie Gregan, Australia, uh, Rob Howley of Wales, uh, and even England, and Kieran Bracken and I were adversaries for a, you know, a long, long time. So, yeah, it was uh, pretty much every, uh, every week playing for your country, you knew you were right up against it. The great Sir Ian McGeekin, who coached me when I was at Northampton and for the Lions, he said, Dawson, you only have two choices and you stick to those choices and you're not going to go far wrong. And that is either when you approach the ruck, you're going to pass it, immediately or there's going to be something on for you. If you think that there's going to be something on for you, pretty much nine times out of ten the door's going to close and you're going to look a fool. Of course there are times where you've got a box kick and but pretty much from ruck to ruck it was in it, it was it was fast, it was furious, it was get there at the right time so that and as you approach the ruck, the last three, four, five yards you just assess it boom and the decision was made and the ball got the ball went so i i always kept it really really simple